Hey guys, <laughs> it's us again. We're back for fourth segment of What Are You Learning? And we are following up from Tuesday when we were talking about the spiritual gifts and Joe walked us through 1 Corinthians 12, which talks about the spiritual gifts and, and uh, exhorts us to desire them. And then 13, right after that, which says all of that's meaningless if you don't have love. Um, and then we went on to 14 where it talks about love and desire the gifts. So today we're going to be following up from that, and Joe's going to talk to us about, I guess, some practicals, or what, what does it look like to desire the gifts? Yeah, and to operate in some ways, you know? Yeah, so what, what um, are you learning? So, uh, yeah, uh, we're hoping that, you know, um, if you're watching this for the first time, um, that you would push pause and go to Tuesdays and, and actually yeah. look at that first because, again, so often... Um, we all want to be successful, mm -hmm. but we don't want to put the work to go to be successful. So, you know, the greatest, uh, the worst compliment or, yeah. Best compliment? No. The worst thing you can say to somebody who's successful is, man, you, it seems like you were just an overnight success, right? Because sure. those people were spending, you know, hours and hours and hours staying awake, doing work, getting to that yeah. place. And it's, it's just one day someone saw them and acknowledged them. Right. But they've been doing all the work, you know? And it's the same thing with, I think, the, the spiritual gifts. I think that we see someone on stage or we see someone uh, who's, just, who's just a godly person just, you know, prophesy or mm -hmm. be administrative or be hospitable and all these things we see in the, in the Bible. Um, and we're like, man, like, like I want to be that. Yeah. And then we try for like two days and we quit, right? Yeah. It's like that's our, that's our society. That's sure. our culture. It's like, oh, well, if it doesn't work after a week, I'm going to return it because sure. I have a 30-day money back. But with the gifts of spirit, there's no kind of money day back. It's just this is right. what God's given us. And so yeah. um, I think for me, I feel like God gives the gifts. And it's really us living the spirit that walks in the fullness of that gift, right? Okay. So if God portioned for me in this season the gift of prophecy, and I never prophesy, maybe I do it once or twice, mm -hmm. is that really being faithful? Is that really being um, fa uh, being faithful with what God's given me um, so that maybe he give me more, maybe give me more opportunity, right, to okay. be able to impact people with this gift. And so um, it, it, there's, there's definitely this balance of God's given the gift, and we, we talked about that last week, but this, this week I want to talk about what do we, how do we be faithful with it? How do we how do we desire for it in a healthy way? How do we live in it in a healthy way? So the the first thing would be is um, is 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 not necessarily in a gift in itself, but I think it is a, a kind of a, a start for everybody. Um, is how um, how do we hear from God? Mm -hmm. Just like starting there, yes. right? Because it, you know if we don't know that God's speaking to us, or if we don't know that we, you know that we can't hear God, yeah. Then everything else is kind of just irrelevant, right? right? How do you even know if he's telling you pray for that person? Yeah. How do you know he's giving you a prophetic word? How do you know you're supposed to be a hospital? You know, like how do you know if you don't know that God's speaking to you? Right. Um, and so I want to do something very practical. Actually, I forgot to tell you. If you can go grab a pin real quick. Okay. Um, I'll grab a freeway church pin. Freeway church pin. Good job. And a piece of paper. Uh, and so um, we really want to talk about what does it look like um, to operate. Um, and gifts, and this is just a good, healthy, easy one for us. And we're hoping that you can take this and then um, use it with what you feel like God's put doing in your life. And so Brian's coming back. He he has a pen and paper, and you may think like, man, you're always wearing this shirt. I have like six of these t-shirts, um, and I wear them every day. It's kind of a uniform for me. Um, the best marketing is you, so <laughs> it's easier. So if I'm wearing the same shirt, he's a Charlie Brown. That's right. I, uh, I I I just like to stick to it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do something practical. Okay. We didn't plan this, right? <laughs> like it's always helpful to say that because entertaining for you, except yeah. very thrilling for me. Yeah. So we didn't we didn't plan anything here, right? Okay. Um, and I got a splinter. Oh. Okay, hurts. You get better, right? Yeah. Um, it it's a metal splinter, so it's a little bit more manly. It's just, I was doing some work yesterday. Wow. We can pray for it. Um, okay. That's your first time. I can get that out for you. Um, and so, uh, first. <laughs> and so, okay, so here we go. So what I want you to do, and this is going to be about two minutes long. And this is just going to be a test, right? Jeez. This is going to be a little, like a little, like a little um, experiment this to see how simple it is that God's speaking. Just, just talk about as well God's speaking to us. Okay. We are supernaturally natural. Okay. We're supernaturally made, right? God. Okay. Um, 
uh, Mary became pregnant. You know, there's this supernatural thing that happened. Yeah. We live in a supernatural world. The fact that, you know, like gravity and the trees and the air, it's like sure. there's science behind it and we believe in all that, but it's like that's there's something supernatural. Yeah. Right? But we're naturally made. And so we have to remember, though, that we're spirit people as well. And so that God speaks to us in our spirit and he speaks to our bodies and we hear and we reply. And so just know that God is always speaking. Okay. Even right now, sometimes it's a, it's a thought that we think. Sometimes I find it's... Um, we daydream, got our dreams at night. God speaks to us as we're just driving in the car, and it's just like these little things that may drop in. And you may be like, it's it's kind of like when you forget something and, some, and something drops in, and you're like, oh yeah. Hmm. A lot of times, that's kind of God sp- speaking to you. That's how He speaks, right? It's okay. just these little things, and then and then you start a conversation, and it gets deeper and deeper, right? So this this is what I want you to do. I, I want you to, for thirty seconds, I just want you to. You don't have to close your eyes. Um, I, I want you to, oh, I'm going to do this as well, to, to ask the question, God, would you speak to me right now? We know he always is, okay. but we're going to be intentional, right? Would you speak to me right now? And then um, do 30 seconds, and then you're going to write down whatever you, a word, picture, mm-hmm. um, phrase, memory, just don't second guess anything. Okay. In that 30 seconds, right? Because you're going to be silent. You're going to say, Lord, speak to me. I'm listening. <clears throat> we talked about this a couple weeks ago, remember? We always talk. We never listen. Sure. Right? So we're going to say, Lord, would you, would you speak to me? And we're going to wait 30 seconds. And then we're going to talk, talk to it out. Okay. And then we'll do another 30 seconds. And we'll just do about four segments of that. And then, okay. and you're going to see um, how actually some of my timer out so we can do this. Okay. And you can do this on your lunch break. You can do this on your way to work. <coughs> You need a pen and paper. It's just helpful to have it. Um, and remind me at the end to mention some practicals. Okay. Okay. So um, we'll put 30 seconds on now, um, and we're just going to pray. All right. You're going to write it out. All right. You just write out whatever comes to your head. Okay. Four All seconds. Right. So we actually did a minute. Um, did we really? Yeah. It goes by quick. Uh. And so we'll just we'll keep it at minute segments so that we can keep it consistent. Okay. So just this is it, why I don't do well at categories. <laughs> yeah. Just in, just in that just in that minute. Uh, what did we'll reveal both of what we got? Okay. Would you see? Would you hear? Would you? <laughs> the gospel according to Ryan. <laughs> All right. We'll we'll see. I'm still learning to to do this well. Uh, I just. Prayed and, and what came to my mind was um, earnestly desire. Do do you? I was thinking earnestly desire the spiritual gifts and do do you like him asking me? Do I earnestly desire? Am I eager to learn? You know from him. Am I eager to be used for his glory? I think that's convicting for me because I think I I know I need to grow. And I need to desire his glory in my life, but I don't think I'm always eager for it. So you originally felt the question. Do you, I heard earnestly desire. I thought, do, and I thought, do you earnestly desire? So you heard, you felt, you heard earnestly desire. Just mm-hmm. that phrase, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and then you started to go into. I heard earnestly desire, and then eager. Are you eager to learn? Are you eager to be used for my glory, and, and eager for the spiritual gifts. Okay, mm-hmm. so um, you heard earnestly desire. Are you eager to learn mm-hmm. from the spiritual gifts? And that was it. The last two. Are, are you eager to learn? Are you eager to be used for my glory? Was there any pictures, or any like numbers or words or? No, nothing popped in your head. Desire and eager. Uh, okay. His, his glory. Cool. Those, so those are the words. So I, I I'm very visual because okay. I, I close my eyes and I just, and the part of it is what I, I don't want you to do is actually start answering those questions. Okay. You just listen. Okay. That's the only thing. Just listen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just close my eyes. Say, Lord, speak to me. Um, I saw a flower. 
in, prop up a car, mm -hmm. a door swing close, a skateboard, some shoulders. So I wish I, 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 I need to like change how I ask. No, I, no. I don't, I don't you're, see in images. I would you're think good. about thoughts. You're good. It's, it's, that's just way, interesting. Like, I, I want to pray for that. That's too. the way God speaks to you. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. So what I want you to do is not to respond. Okay. If you feel, if you like, are you ego? Don't answer the question. Just let it keep going. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go to the next step. And I want you to um, say, Lord, is there anything else that you want me to see, hear, experience of what you just said? Okay. okay? And then don't answer. Okay. Just write it out. Okay? okay. So for me, I'm going to say, Lord, what, why show me a flower? Okay. Why show me a car? Okay. So why, why ask me those questions? Okay. Is there anything else that you, that you want to speak to me about? You know? <clears throat> that makes sense? Okay. Cool. So we're going to reset a minute. And we'll we'll go again. All right. Second minute. Yeah. Anything? Anything come out of that? If you're, if you're ever like jealous that you get to, to you don't get to hang out with Joe um, the way that I do. Don't 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 be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do this stuff on camera in front of people. Um, so jealous. I saw a mountain, <laughs> which I didn't like because I've been watching Lord of the Rings. It's but don't, full don't, of full of mountains. Don't, I'm, like, uh, oh, I'm not thinking that. I'm just that's. That's Lord of the Rings. Um, no, I just, and it stayed there. It was just a mountain. Um, and then I heard or thought, I am here with you. God's saying that. You. So that's what I got. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not going to interpretation like you're saying. Yeah, just, yeah. That's, that's well, what I got. So, yeah, well, I mean, God could interpret that in there. Mm -hmm. uh, the main thing is not to just always respond back. Sure. Right? Um, so we're so quick to want to, like, give adoration rather than just listen. Right. Yeah. Okay, so um, I, pr I prayed and said, Lord, is there anything else or with that? Right. You know, um, is there anything? And, and these words kind of came out with, I think, even correlation with these pictures. Um, it was experience, go, run through, enjoy, relax. And I had a picture of like a tool belt. It could have just been that I was working yesterday. Mm -hmm. and I was doing electrical work, so mm -hmm. maybe that's what it was. But so we have now kind of the initial, what is God to speak to me? Okay. Lord, you know. Um, what uh, go deeper, right? And so now I want you to pray, pray this prayer, Lord. Is this word for me? Is this picture for me? Is okay. this what, or is this for somebody else? That's okay. all I want you to ask. And and see what he says. Okay. You might have names pop up. You know, it's not always us, right? You might have something pop up, or maybe another picture pops up. Yeah. But we're we're just saying, look, is this for me? Is this for somebody else? Ready? Okay. A minute. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> I know this is a little bit different of a segment, but we just really wanted to get practical mm -hmm. on if you've never 
feel like you've ever heard God. This is just an easy way to start. Sure. And when it ends up happening, you're not writing it down. You're just kind of flowing through it. God speaking to you. It's blah, 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 back and forth, right? Uh, okay, so what what'd you get? What'd you get out of that? <laughs> what answers did you get for number three? Uh, I got, I think it's for me. Uh, he is always there. Mountains don't move. And I think I, I immediately thought that. That immediately occurred to me as him being unchanging. But also mountains don't move in that he doesn't move away from me. I move away from him. I, I either move away or towards him. Those are kind of my, my three thoughts. That he's he's always there. He is that mountain. And he doesn't he doesn't change. He doesn't move. And I think I feel like he gets farther away sometimes. But that that's me. Mm-hmm. Um I move away or towards him. I'm the one who changes. Um mm-hmm. And I, he's always there, so that's comforting. And I can pursue him. I can I can draw nearer to the mountain. Hmm. Yeah, that's great, man. Um, I just closed my eyes and started just thinking, who's this for? And all these names started coming to my head. Mm-hmm. And these can be people that I just talk to, or just people. Saying, I'm going to say the names of people in our church. Yeah. Um, and so we can go from there. So I had John Yacht, Dylan, Posse, Ryan Diaz, Mandy Gill, Randy. It was just like these names that were coming through my head. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know. Oftentimes when I'm, I'm going to talk about practicals later, but when you hear from God, you just kind of save things for later. Okay. Things may come up later on that these are the people that God wants you to minister to. Okay. So the last thing, just in a little segment together, you're just going to pray, Lord, is there anything else in more, de- in more detail that mm-hmm. I need to know? And um, should I say something to that? To if well, obviously to yourself, but okay. that, it's, you know, <clears throat> what, should, what should I do with this? Sure. Basically, is better probably a better question. Yeah. Is there any more detail... Should I do with this? And, and what should I do with this? Okay. And so we're going to spend a minute and um, go from there. All right. All right. What do you got? Um, so I have him saying, <coughs> trust my work, not your work, like me, me. Mm. Don't rely on yourself. Listen to me, come to me. And what, what I took from that is that I, I need to do what we're doing right now, now more and come to him and just listen to him. Because mm. I listen to myself, I think a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm overly, and that's that. That's why I struggle with this kind of exercise mm-hmm. sometimes because I'm always afraid of imprinting something from my crowded brain mm-hmm. into what I'd want to be God. Mm-hmm. And while I was finishing writing this, my father-in-law texted me, "You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock." Hmm. Isaiah twenty-six three to four. And he was texting that just like the last ten seconds. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he, he. It's not like he texts me every day. Every few weeks, maybe. Yeah, so. that's so cool, yeah. man. Yeah, you know, pretty cool. <laughs> it's it's God. God. God is always speaking. So, would you say that this is from God? That this was from God. Yes. And 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 why would you? Why does? Why do you believe that? Like, because I I know I need it right now. Um, a lot of doubt in my life. Um, about. 
there's a lot of doubt about who I am, which is true, mm-hmm. and it's God refocusing my attention on Him. And I need to stop looking at myself <coughs> and look at Him and what He has accomplished, rather than what I'm seeking to accomplish or, mm-hmm. or what I have accomplished or haven't accomplished. Um, but it's 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 the truth I know. It's the truth I know. I need to be reminded of because um, I just I just gotta be hammered in the head with it. Yeah, um, that's what I need right now. Would you say as well that you need it every day? Yes. Yeah. This is like like that moment you had. It took us you know seven minutes to do. Right. You know that's something that you can reproduce every day in your life. Yeah. Imagine if you woke up every morning and you started that way. Mm-hmm. And you know, for me, I feel like. Any more details was that um, the guy wants to refine these mm-hmm. people. The guy wants to make stronger that he's covering these people. So like John and Dylan and Posse, Ryan, uh, Mandy Gill, Randy, like God's wanting you to refine you and make you stronger. And he's and he he's the season. He's really wanting his spirit to kind of cover you and, and to encourage you and mature you and challenge you. And I think those words of experiencing and experience Christ, experience the spirit. Go after the Spirit. Run through the doors that God's opening up. Enjoy the Spirit to relax. Those are the, the words that came to my head. And, um, and, and you know, imagine being able to have a little div- little journal that you can write every morning that things that God's speaking to you. Yeah. And possibly speaking to other people. Yeah. There's, been a, there's been a story one time where I go through seasons of this where I write in journals. And, and it, it's... Um, it's interesting. I remember writing one a dream that I had, and it didn't come t- to pass until like four months later. But because I wrote it down, wrote the, wrote the time, I was able to kind of look back and see, oh wow, like God's been doing all of this, you know. Hmm. And so I think it's cool to to see that like God's doing some unique stuff. And so we're, um, you know, we're we're hoping that that this is just like a like a launch for you. We're gonna do more of these. Yeah. Um. This is just prayer. Like this is basic. Like. Does God speak? He does. Um, is God speaking? He is. Yeah. Um, is he, are, you know, can we listen to what he's saying? We can. You're, you're an example of that, right? And my encouragement to you is to get into a rhythm and a habit of hearing God speak. And it, it really just takes you um, making it a priority. And waking, I would say wake up in the morning. It's just it's an easy time. You can do it any time of the day. It's not like God speaks more in the mornings than he does at night. But <clears throat> there's something about waking up and then carrying that journal with you as an arsenal for yeah. like for against the enemy, right? Like, right. you know, you, you pull up to somebody and you're just like, oh man, this, this I think this is for that person. You're able yeah. to encourage them, and I would say um, most often God is speaking, and we often think, well, it's just a flower in a car and a driving door swinging closed and a skateboard. And so, like, what is God like? But God uses those things, and so. We're really just trying to rest in, in this thing of like God uses things and people to speak to us, the gifts, right? Mm-hmm. Those are gifts. Yeah. Um, and um, as we become more comfortable with who in those gifts and we trust more in Christ, we'll start being used more. God will give us more. I, I've seen it in my own life. The more faithful I am, He blesses me to have more dreams and more prophetic words and sure. be able to have faith to pray for people, whatever it may be. And so... Um, we have to get the understanding of the love first, but man, it really does take application and practically just walking out. So this is just a simple practical you can do at home. God, what are you saying um, is the first thing? I mean, it's been more than a minute. It's been five minutes. Put a timer on. Okay, Lord, um, what does that even mean? Like, what are those pictures you're giving me, those words you're giving me? Is this for anybody? Is this for myself? Is this mm-hmm. for somebody else? And then what do I do with that? Do I share it with them? Do I hold on to it? Is there any other detail that you may have? And if we're intentionally asking God, He, we will hear more clearly. Yeah. Right? It's it's like I can talk to my, my wife and look at the phone, or I can talk to my wife looking at her face. Right. There's more intentionality, right? And yeah. that's what we're doing. Being more intentional to be listening to Christ every day of the week, not just on a Sunday yeah. when you're stuck in a room with a bunch of people and listening to a preacher preach, or mm-hmm. right? Like it's you're making time to do it. Just like we make time on a Sunday, make time on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mm-hmm. Um, and so um, any, anything else you want to encourage with that? I mean, this is the first time you've kind of tried something like that. Um, any word of encouragement or I just yeah make you have to make time for it um, I know it's something I need to do in my life is, is make time for it and sometimes it's good to just you know sneak in Bible reading when you can when you have a spare moment but I think it's it's good to be proactive with this too and it's it's encouraging to see fruit of that already just doing this with Joe and and uh, 
a great reminder for me to to be purposeful with that and and seek God's face, seek seek and, and listen. Yeah, you know, um, you brought up a good point. You like, you know, <clears throat> picture a funnel or a, a tube mm. from God's presence to our heart. You know, mm. and as we spend time with Him, there's just water and refreshment. Yeah. As we don't spend time with Him, we get it's usually just dry, right? There's no water coming through. Sure. But even more, we, if we start spending time with other things, then it's just junk that comes into our heart. Yeah. And so to live a life of the Spirit is to consistently be led to this, by the Spirit, consistently sure. be speaking to God. Paul said he prayed without ceasing. How do you do that? Mm. I don't know. Mm. But he probably had, he probably was intentional. Yeah. We definitely know that. So it's 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 we can either make living life of the Spirit and operating in His gifts like, a side dish, or we can make it, man, this is what we're called to do, yeah. right? We're called to be led by the Spirit and to operate in what He's telling us to. And um, and that's for the rest of our lives, it's every day, you know? And one day we won't have to, because we'll be with Christ. Yeah. But until then, man, what opportunity we have, Amen. you know, to do that. So we thank you guys, encourage you guys to yeah. come this Sunday morning as we continue through our um, Son of Promise series, uh, bring a friend, invite a friend, we wear a mask, we do temperature check, we clean everything. We make sure sanitize. Um, we're doing the best I can. Kids' ministry is open. We got breath uh, mints. Breath mints is everything. It's so nice when you put it in your mask and just smell mm. that mm. Um, after communion. After communion, yeah. <laughs> um, and so we just we just are um, yeah super excited for what God's doing with us. And we hope this is an encouragement to you. Um, share it with friends. Uh, listen mm-hmm. to it on your devotion. Uh, we really want to give you material so you can really just live this out every single day of the week. And so we love you guys, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, Joe.